Hi everyone and welcome to the All Nurses YouTube channel. My name is Alexa from Nurses Notes 101. Today we're going to be talking about the Pearson View trick. This trick's been around for years to see if you've passed or failed the NCLEX before receiving your finalized results. I'm going to go through with you how to use this trick step by step. Let's get started. So I'm going to use Google and type in Pearson View. So we're going to act like we are registering for another NCLEX exam, but instead of giving our accurate credit card information, we're going to use a gift card. And this gift card will give us one of three pop-ups, and with those three pop-ups, we'll be able to see if we have passed or did not pass our NCLEX. So just like you did when you registered for the NCLEX, you're going to go here type in NCLEX exam. We do not want the practice exam, we want the actual exam, so type in NCLEX NCSBN. Registration process, you're gonna click that when this page comes up. We already have an account with Pearson View, so we do not need to register again. We're going to click this part right here that says already registered, sign in to schedule now. We're going to go to username, type in your username, and then type in your password, sign in. This is the dashboard for Pearson View. So like I said before, we're going to act like we're registering for the exam. So click here, start the registration process. Because um, I am from New York, I'm going to click, I'm seeking licensure registration in the US, US territory or Australia. If not, if you were from Canada, you would click the second option. So click there. I'm looking at the NCLEX for RNs, not NCLEX for practical nurses, so I'm going to click the first option. It's going to prompt you to put in your school information, so we're going to do that. It asks for country, US, state, my school is in New York, so I'm going to type in New York, type in the city, or you can put your program code in. I find it easier just to search for the school. So click search, your school should pop up here under program name. You're going to put in the month and the year that you graduated from the program. Scroll all the way down to your year. Say you agree to biometric policies. Put in your ethnic group. So this is all just like you were to register for another NCLEX exam. So it's just having you go through every little thing again. And my nursing boards were for New York State. So I will type that in. If yours are for a different state, you would type that in to see the Pearson View trick. Next. These are the NCSBN exam policies, terms and conditions, just like you were to apply for a new exam, so just click agree. This is the total for the exam, so click next on this page. So here is where you want to make sure you do not put your actual full credit card details in. What I find is best and what I've heard from others as well is to use a gift card. So I have a nice uh, vanilla gift card right here. I'm going to put the numbers of this into it. The only thing different I'm going to put with this gift card is to not use the exact CVV, the number on the back. I'm going to instead change it by one number, but everything else is the same. So type in visa, card number here, the expiration date I'll put on. I'm going to put my name as the card holder. Security code change by one number. And for the billing information, even though it is a gift card, just put your home address. Click next. And this is the page where it's going to look like you're applying for another NCLEX exam. So you're going to click submit order. When we click this button, you're going to see one of three pop-ups and I'll go through each of the three. And depending on which one you get, you've either looked too soon, you've passed, or you did not pass the NCLEX. So let's click submit order. Okay, so this is the pop-up that I've received. Our records indicate that you've recently scheduled this exam. Another registration cannot be made at this time. So when this pop-up comes up, this is the good pop-up. This means that you passed your NCLEX and congratulations. Because you've passed the exam, it's saying you cannot schedule another one because you've already fulfilled the requirement. I have a copy of what it would look like if you did not get the good pop-up. So there is a neutral pop-up and a bad pop-up. These are what they would look like. So this is the neutral pop-up. So this is nor bad nor good. So this one says here, the candidate currently has test results that are on hold. A new registration cannot be created at this time. So either one of two things, you did not do well in your exam and it could potentially be a bad pop-up or second option is that you've looked too soon. So what I would recommend in this case, this is the pop-up that you receive. I would check again in a couple of hours or even the next day 
and see if this pop-up has changed for you. What we recommend as well is to give it at least an hour before you check this trick to see if you get the bad, the good, or the neutral pop-up. Because if you check in less than an hour, they probably are not done reviewing your test yet. What none of us want to see is this pop-up. This is the bad pop-up. From what I'm aware of at this point, it is not as accurate as it used to be. So people are saying it's about 75% accurate now. This is when it says your payment has been declined. Reason, contact your credit card company or use a different credit card. So with this instance, Pearson View actually tries to charge your card again. That means that the full process of reviewing your examination has been completed and they're letting you apply again for another exam because you did not do well. This does not mean that you won't do well in the future. Hopefully, um, you know, if you study hard, you will do well, but this potentially means that you did not pass the exam. Like I said, it's only 75% accurate, but this is the Pearson View trick to see the good pop-up, the neutral pop-up, and the bad pop-up. And it's a great way to check to see your results before the results actually come in. Thank you guys for watching. Again, my name is Alexa with Nurses Notes 101. That is my tag for YouTube. I'm working with allnurses.com. All right, and I hope to see you guys soon.